Today I'm testing a new paint stripper from Boatcraft Pacific called Lemon Peel. Lemon Peel has been specifically manufactured to be a safer way to strip paint off surfaces. A lot of your methyl chloride based strippers are highly toxic, they're no good for your skin and they vaporize readily so if you're in a confined space like a boat they're absolutely no good for your health. So lemon peel has been developed to handle that. The other problem with traditional paint strippers is they'll soften gel coat. So one of the tests we're going to do today is on a piece of gel coat covered surface. It's also got aqua coat under coat on it. It's all got, so got aqua coat up top coat. So it'll be a good test to see how well it lifts the paint. We're also going to put some, some straight on the polyester based fiberglass to see whether it reacts and we've got some single pack paint or I believe it is and also varnish but we're presently doing a test to confirm that. Okay we've got the lemon peel open, it smells like lemons, looks like lemons but I'm not going to taste it to see if it tastes like lemons. Anyway we're going to get in and coat these, I've got the stopwatch ready to go so I'll start it up and then we'll get in and uh, put some lemon peel on and see how long it takes to work. We've had the uh, paint stripper on there for about six minutes now. I've applied it by brush and by roller and I think you're better off applying it by roller because you get a more even surface. When you apply it by brush it'll eat away a lot faster at the thicker areas and the thinner areas it won't be as effective whereas if you're putting more even coat on with the roller it'll work more effectively. You'll, you'll see the two single pack paints uh, the varnish and the paint it's already lifted the top layer has already been taken off so we'll leave it a little bit longer and see how we go uh, but that top layer will scrape off now. Where we've got a thin layer of varnish uh, there's not a problem it's uh, lifting off easy enough when you take it off just scrape it onto some newspaper and that uh, gets rid of it so gee, I find old magazine or newspapers good because you can fold it over and keep adding the stuff to it we'll give this one a go oh look at that look, it's just absolutely melted the top coat it's like uh, liquid see it's still very liquid and still wet it, it'll keep working there away while it's wet I'm just going to smooth that back on so that it keeps working. I don't want to take the chemical away. But it hasn't eaten through the undercoat yet, so we'll give it a bit longer. What are we at now? Let's have a look. So we're at about nine minutes since we applied it. That's pretty fast and a lot safer. Okay, it's now just over 13 minutes. Absolutely no reaction with the polyester, and I, I don't expect there to be a, a reaction. I want to leave that on overnight. I'm actually going to cover that with the plastic, same with the, the gel coat and the aqua coat under coat and the top coat. Um, I don't expect a reaction with them but I'll cover them with plastic and I'll leave them overnight. We'll have another look tomorrow. But uh, I've actually scraped it off the varnish surface because it looks like there's only one coat on there and uh, it lifted it off in no time. You know, by about nine minutes it was pretty well done. You'll see this one here, I lifted it off a bit too soon and it hadn't reacted properly with the undercoat. I'm going to leave it on these fellas a bit longer. Let's just do a little bit. Yeah, it's still got a little bit of work to go to get right through that undercoat. So we'll leave it a bit longer. It's starting to get through it here, see? We're pretty well through the undercoat there. Um, back to bare timber. You can see how fast it works, so what's that, about 15 minutes and we got some pretty good results. So next I'll cover up these fellows with a plastic that I'm going to leave overnight so that it doesn't dry out, it's important it doesn't dry out. If it dries out it'll stop working for you. So see, all the contamination and that's where all the toxic stuff is. The paint stripper itself it isn't toxic to any degree, so it's what you scrape off that makes it toxic and I spe this stuff comes into its own for anti-foul which is highly toxic and difficult to take off and your lead based paints are absolutely brilliant.
Okay, we're at 24 minutes and I'm just scraping back here. It's just starting to work its way through the undercoat. Could do with a bit longer. The surface is dried out but it's wet underneath. So that, that's pretty neat. If you were using a metal scraper, you'd just about get that back. Yeah, but it's totally lifted the top coat and it'll lift it off really easy. You know, it, the top coat lifted within five minutes. Good stuff. Over 24 hours later and the lemon peel is still soft. It's actually softened the aqua coat. No, no effect on the epoxy undercoat. It's actually softened the gel coat. No effect on the boat coat. Right, see how it's still clear? We had that covered with plastic, but that's been uncovered for three or four hours now, and it's still quite good underneath, so uh, it's still stayed liquid, which is good. This fellow here, the polyester fiberglass, it's actually softened, softened this as well. It's uh, softened the surface layer, so that's a bit of a concern. Anyway, we'll see what happens. 7.47 p.m. covered, all of the soy gel covered areas and the lemon peel and we'll see what happens. I used lemon peel on this area here, uh, really took to the polyurethane and, and it even affected softened the gel coat but the gel coat's gone back hard. The fiberglass, it, it softened the surface but it's gone back hard so no worries there. And I've done the other end in soy gel, so we'll pull that off in a minute and have a look. The epoxy, the lemon peel did nothing to that. It did take the gloss off it, but which surprised me. Over here, lemon peel struggled with taking this undercoat off, and I've noticed the soy gel has too. Uh, so I did another test with lemon peel and soy gel adjacent to each other to give it a comparison. And I was surprised the soy gel struggled with it as well. The varnish, not a problem at all. Buddy ripped it, wants to rip it off in 10 minutes, and I even just left that sitting there. That's been on probably 36 hours now, and still wet. Didn't get covered, and it's going to pull it straight off. So let's uh, have a look at these. We've done the test and we're scraped off. The soy gel worked very similar to the it softened the gel coat when put directly on it, <coughs> and, and it definitely affected the uh, poly but it didn't work as well on the poly. No effect on the epoxy undercoat. The soy gel even struggled directly onto this undercoat. It, it, it must be a two-pack polyurethane, I think, because it struggled to lift it off. The only advantage with the soy gel covered in plastic over the lemon peel, the lemon peel still dried out on the surface, so it, it doesn't stay as wet as long as the soy gel. As a result, it struggled to uh, take as much off as the soy gel. I think if that had been done late yesterday, it would have bought it off quite well. Um, no effect on the epoxy. It softened the fiberglass, so similar characteristics to um, the soy gel uh, softened the fiberglass, similar to what the lemon peel did, but where the lemon peel was, it solidified again, so no worries. Disposing your scrapings, I, I've just got an old magazine and just open a couple of pages, spin them over and then you're fresh and then dispose of it in your garbage. So basically with the lemon peel, what makes it toxic is what you take off. It's a reasonably safe in its own right. Don't thrill seek, don't use it with bare hands. Uh, it will defat your skin but it'll take a while to do it and it doesn't bite like the paint strippers you buy in the local hardware store. Extremely easy, extremely safe okay, to use. To finish off, we just give it a scrub with some hot soapy water and a scour pad. These green scour pads are brilliant. Look at the grain that's come out in this timber. Peel all that manky old varnish off. So e even where it's dried here, the, it's still soft and the, the scour pad will take any residual off. Use hot soapy water, don't, not just water. And uh, once you've got it, we'll just give it a hose down with some fresh water. This is dried out, so it, we'll, we'll just clean it up. Uh, but it, it, it takes it off. So hot soapy water is all you need to clear, uh, clean off the lemon peel. Really easy to play with. Taken it in and washed the surface and taken all the paint stripper off 
just with some hot soapy water and a scour pad look at the grain in that timber that's going to be beautiful when it's resurfaced not sure what I'm going to use it for yet might use it for something fancy in a uh, dinghy I'm playing with looks pretty neat a simple test to determine if it's a single pack or a two pack paint is to wet a cloth with acetone and then put it on the surface for about five minutes and what you'll see is in this case the varnish has started to come off see how it's come off on the rag didn't didn't lemon peel but it's gone sticky but see the paint it's pulled it off with it so that that indicates to me it's a single pack paint if it was a two pack paint it probably wouldn't react with acetone I'd guarantee it wouldn't actually <laughs> 